So as you can see from the start position there, so nice flat back position, eyes forwards, head forwards, feet flat through the ground. Um, so you get some lifters starting with the with the heels on the ground. Um, and you've got that nice balanced, strong position, arms relaxed, so the arms are straight from the start position there. And it's just a strong position through the back. So what you'll find as well, quite often, when you've got a beginner, someone that's never done weightlifting before as well, so for those of you that are coaching, uh, that's one of the challenges, is to set this back position from the start, especially with the, with the wide grip, because what you'll find is, when that lifter goes wide, they might be okay with a clean position, but when they go wide, they're back all round from there. So that's something that can take some time to develop that nice strong back position from the start. So really important that you get that neutral spine. Chest up, feet flat through the ground, arms straight, strong position. So as you can see from there, the bar at knee height, the position is virtually the same in terms of the back angle. Head position exactly the same as well, the eyes are directed straight ahead. And that bar is just hanging there from the arms. Back strong, arms relaxed. Shins vertical as well, that's another key point that you're looking for from there. Um, that's another thing, another error that you'll quite commonly see if you coach you're a beginner, is the knees will be slightly forwards. It's something actually that have quite a, a good coach's eye to look for because the bar is very slightly forward, which can result in a missed lift from there. So shins vertical, bar is pretty much skimming the legs at that point as well. So that's something you can coach a lifter as well. To feel the bar brushing the legs. If you've got a lifter wearing knee sleeves as well, you can actually hear the bar brushing up through the knee sleeves from there. So that's a good thing to look out for. So as Cyril was saying earlier on as well, it's about actively thinking of pushing the platform down <coughs> from this point. So the head, head position is maintained. Arms are still relaxed at this point, and the lift is focusing on pushing the feet down. And you can see the barbell's actually travelled back from the knee, and it's travelled back in towards the hip. Again, another common fault you'll see as well when you're coaching a beginner is for the lifters to think of pushing the hips through, and the bar will actually travel forwards, and then you'll wonder why you're missing the weight forwards from there. So it's actually thinking of that bar travelling back in, keeping that base. As Cyril pointed out earlier, that line, that bar stays over the base, over the feet. Just going back actually there, another point as well that you'll see there, the feet are still flat through the ground. So there are some lifters that start to come up on the toes early there. Um, but generally it's advised to keep the feet pressing down through the platform as long as possible in order to generate that force. So the top of the pull, this is where we're actually actively coming up onto the toes from there. And you can see that barbell there, the elbows look, it looks like the, the lift is pulling up with arms, the arms from there, but it's actually that force generated downwards into the platform. And you can see the barbell staying close to the body as a result. So that's that weightlessness zone that we're talking about there. You can see the bar starting to float up the body and you can see how close it is to the lifter's body as well. So again, that's what we're looking for. Um, a good assistance exercise, snatch high pull. It's a really good one to get that feel of the float of the barbell. So the hip action must be explosive and the catch fast and strong. So it's another thing as well when you're coaching a beginner, um, because it's a complex skill. The beginner will often slow the movement down and overthink the movement from there as well. So it's got to be an active um, unconscious effort from there as well, it's got to be accelerated into the hip. Um, so it's something that Cyril's mentioned before as well, it's, it's a dynamic movement as well, so the bar's always gathering speed towards the hip. So it's never slowing down, you're not trying to stop. So with beginners you often see as well again, uh, thinking too much about what they need to do and the bar will slow down, but you need to keep the bar moving to the hip. And the catch is fast and strong as well, and you can see the depth there on the right hand side. Full depth, hips, hips down below the knee. This is something that Cyril, when he coaches lifters as well, he'll always encourage the lifter to catch the bar in a full squat because it's always going to limit your potential if you're just powering the weight all the time. That's something you'll quite commonly see as well. Um, if you're muscling the bar up and catching it high, it's always going to limit your potential in terms of, so if your goal is to lift the biggest weights possible, 
you're not going to get that high on there with the big weights. You're not going to get that height of the bar. So you've got to be able to get into that position at the bottom there.